Xbox owns the rights to a large range of IPs, some of which haven't had new game entry in quite some time which is really unfortunate. Anyway, in today's video we're going to be looking at some of these games, talking about reasons why I'd like to see a new entry, and then giving a potential idea of what this new entry could be. Some of these games haven't had an entry in a good, good while. However, some of them will be a bit more recent, but with no signs of a new entry anytime soon. Before we do jump into the video, let me know down in the comments what Microsoft franchise or Xbox franchises you'd like to see a new game of. And if you do enjoy the video today, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. I'm aiming for a thousand subs by the end of the year, and with all the support on the channel right now, I think that's a very achievable goal. Anyway, without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight in. Now the first game on our list is Banjo and Kazooie, these characters in this game series needs no introduction. They were recently brought back into popularity with their inclusion in Super Smash Bros Ultimate. And even more recently with the first and I believe second game coming to the N64 emulator on the Nintendo Switch. So I'm honestly surprised that Rare and Microsoft didn't bank off of this recent popularity. Of course the characters have always been popular but being brought back into the mainstream is something that I really thought Rare were going to bank off of. Banjo and Kazooie is something I really enjoyed when I was much younger. I don't play them as much now more recently, however I did love those games when I was a kid. I also just really care about the characters, I found the characters in the world really interesting and I believe platformers and these more family friendly games are something that the Xbox is in a bit more need of. I was really hoping we get to see a new game when they were added to Smash, however that's yet to be the case. Anyway, in terms of a new entry I'd like to see, of course we could get the elusive Banjo 3 that everyone seems to want, however I'd also like to see a remake of some sorts. With Xbox acquiring Activision, it would be interesting to see uh, if they got Toys for Bob, the people that develop the Crash Bandicoot games now, to get them to develop a remake of the first two and maybe nuts and bolts. I think something like that could be amazing and it would test the popularity to see if people are still willing to buy this. So then they can determine whether or not they want to make a new game. Banjo and Kazooie is obviously an extremely popular franchise and I believe the characters deserve a new entry. I really hope this is something that Rare and Xbox are thinking about because I know a lot of fans would be extremely happy with this. The next series on our list is Killer Instinct. Of course this used to be a rare franchise and technically still is, but the latest entry which released back in 2013, which means it's almost 10 years old, was developed by Iron Galaxy Studios and also Helix Games. I found the latest entry really fun. And going back to it for this video, I actually had a really good time. It still holds up visually and its gameplay is still just as good as I remember. It had a really great roster of characters when it launched, which just got better and better with each season pass, including some really cool crossovers like Battletoads, the Arbiter from Halo and even General Ram from Gears of War. This is a game that I play quite a lot with my family and we all have a really good time. It's also something that I've enjoyed with friends from time to time too, so it'd be great to see a new entry. If we ever did get one, I'd like to see them do more with the idea of crossovers. This is something that Smash Bros does really well, bringing loads of different characters from different franchises together. I'd want something similar for Killer Instinct, maybe with a bit more of a story mode that brings some of these characters together, that would be quite interesting. Maybe we could see the Arbiter return, but alongside a brute character like Tartarus or Atriox, something like that would be awesome. Of course, the game would still very much need to include all of the original characters. My favourite's Glacius, by the way, I think Glacius is really cool. And I just think a new entry in the series would be really cool. It doesn't have to be developed by Rare, they could get another studio to develop it. It's just something that I'd love to see. The next game on our list is Crash Team Racing. Now, I know what you're thinking. Nitro Fueled isn't even that old, and you're right, it isn't. But Nitro Fueled is more of a remake of sorts with some new elements. I'm talking about a brand new game, which is something I'd like to see. And I know I'm sort of contradicting myself here as I mentioned that I'd love to see Banjo and Kazooie get a remake. But I did also mention a new entry there too. So anyway, Crash Team Racing. Now, Microsoft are of course buying Activision and that means that Xbox will own Crash Team Racing. This is another game that had some cool crossovers with Spyro and, and whatnot featuring in Nitro Field. I'd like a new Crash game that has more crossover characters in the same way that Mario Kart does. Crash Team Racing Nitro Field is already a really fun game anyway. I put a lot more time into it than I have ever have for recording this video and I actually didn't realise how good it was. And I actually think it is a pretty close second when it comes to kart races to Mario Kart. So it'd be cool for Xbox in a way to sort of have a competitor to it, but friendly competition would 
Of course, make both games strive to do better. I'd love to see some crossover characters show up. Maybe we could get a grunt from Halo and they could drive around in a, in a mongoose or a warthog or something like that. That'd be hilarious. Or of course, they could have a ghost or... Some kind of Halo vehicle would be cool. There's of course other Microsoft characters that would probably fit in much more, like Banjo and Kazooie, as mentioned prior. I mean, they initially debuted in Diddy Kong Racing, so it'd be cool to see them behind the wheels of a car again. It'd honestly be great to see some courses inspired by other games, uh, but overall it'd just be nice to get a new Crash Team Racing game, a brand new one, with another brand new story with some really cool maps and cool modes. Crash Team Racing again is another game that I play with my family quite often, uh, so it, it, I'd honestly love a brand new, completely new entry. You're probably getting sick of me mentioning Rare games, but the next entry on our list is Viva Pinata. This game def definitely took up a good portion of my childhood, I used to sink loads of hours into it, and it's still something I go back to from time to time. Trouble in Paradise has held up really well visually because of the amazing, adorable art style. Of course, it's got great character design, the comedy is top notch, and overall, it's just a really nice, relaxing game. Again, as I mentioned, I think Xbox is in need of some more of these family friendly games, and Viva Pinata definitely fits that bill. It's another really popular Rare franchise that I'm surprised they haven't had a game of in God knows how long. Now, in the latest game, a really unique idea they had was going into the other biomes to collect animals from those areas and I'd like to see this expanded on if there was a new entry but rather than it just being you go to these other areas to trap the pinatas maybe instead you actually have your own gardens in each area and you can transfer pinatas between them maybe even include some new biomes like a jungle area or something along those lines I think that could be really really damn cool We've seen dragons and dinosaurs, I'd like to see some more mythical creatures get cool pinatas in the game too. And Viva Pinata, for the most part, is just a series that I love and I'd love to see it return. Hell, if they did it right, it could in a way be Xbox's contender to Animal Crossing. As I said, a bit of friendly competition between the two companies could strive both games to improve. Both of those series have like this sort of more calming gameplay style, very cutesy but sometimes cool character designs. They're just nice relaxing games, so I think if done right, Viva Pinata could in a way be Xbox's version of that. Anyway, moving on to our final pick of this list, we have the Halo Wars series. Now again, I know Halo Wars 2 isn't that old, however, support did end for it a little while back and there's no signs that 343 or Xbox plan to continue this series. With things like The Banished being brought into the mainline games, but with the main characters from Halo Wars not to be seen, it's a little bit worrying. I love the story for these games and I love the characters, I recently replayed Halo Wars 1's campaign and I forgot how good it was. And seeing The Banished in Halo Infinite made me go back to playing Halo Wars 2's multiplayer and that game is so fun. So I would love to see a third entry in the series. There's been events in some of the books recently that have included the characters, so maybe we could get stuff like that in a new entry in the games. It could maybe be more directly linked to Halo Infinite, as the Banished have been introduced in that. Maybe we could see a crossover between the two games, Halo Infinite could have some story DLC relating to the Halo Wars characters, and Halo Wars could get a third entry which directly links to Halo Infinite. Something like that would be amazing, and I know a lot of fans would love that. However, with Halo Wars 2, uh, as far as I'm aware, not having very great sales, it's kind of concerning, and I'm pretty sure that 343 don't really have any plans to continue the series. I could, of course, be wrong, and maybe they will, and I really, really hope this is the case. Halo Wars is a great series, and if you get the chance, you should definitely give it a go. It's a fun strategy game, so it's, it's nice seeing the Halo universe from a different perspective. Obviously, you can probably tell them a huge Halo fan, which is why it's been mentioned so often through this video. But I mean, Halo Wars, although not being super old, did recently, Halo Wars 2 did recently turn five years old, which I honestly didn't realize had been out for that long. Anyway, those are my five picks for five Xbox games I'd like to see get revived, five series I'd like to get revived. As I mentioned earlier on, let me know down in the comments what games you'd like to see revived. I imagine your picks are very different to mine. And also, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to let me know. I will do more of these videos like this, the top five style videos. If you did enjoy this, I will definitely do more. There's plenty of other Xbox games that I'd love to see revived, so I could do more videos on the same topic. But anyway, that's all from me, and I will catch you in the next one.